historic North Creek Schoolhouse is a rare, intact example of a one-room school building and one of the few remaining in Washington. Built in 1902, the school served as an education building for 18 years. It was later used as a community center and home of the Canyon Park Community Club. There is another preserved schoolhouse in Bothell. Bothell's first schoolhouse, built in 1885 and now standing at the park at Bothell Landing. However, the North Creek Schoolhouse is much closer to its original condition. Both schools represent a period of Washington's pioneer history, prior to the consolidation of educational services when each community took responsibility for providing facilities for local children. One of the early teachers at the North Creek Schoolhouse was Charles Beardsley, who arrived from New York in 1888. He organized the Bothell Cornet Band and was one of the founders of the Bothell State Bank. He was also known for going fishing with his North Creek Schoolhouse students during recess. Private owners Bill and Peggy Van Adder donated the building to the city so that it could be relocated and preserved. It was relocated in 2008 from its original site to Bothell Centennial Park. Well, the building came into the uh, ownership of the vet Bill and Peggy Van Etter, a longtime Bothell residents. And in the early 90s, uh, they approached the city about uh, donating it. Uh, they wanted it preserved. That's their primary goal is to have it preserved and made available for the community to use. So there was a restoration study done in the 90s that showed the building was in sound condition and uh, uh, represented a, a, an important part of our history. It was placed on the national and local historic registries at that time. Uh, and then things sort of uh, lapsed for a while. Uh, I got on the park board in 2004 and Bill approached me. We were old, longtime friends and uh, he mentioned the school. I was unaware of it at the time. And he took me out there and I was first kind of thrown off by the, all the blackberries. Then we went inside. It was just full of junk. But I could see beyond that that there was a real uh, jewel here that the city really needed to preserve. So I went back to the park board and we uh, got together with the landmarks board uh, and jointly uh, approached the city about moving this forward again. Uh, and then uh, the city agreed that we should uh, make it part of the park. This park was planned, this park here was originally called Thrasher's Corner Regional Park. And it had an interpretive center uh, as part of the plan. And it hit me that we could use the schoolhouse for the interpretive center. The other problem with preserving the schoolhouse on its original site was that through road expansions on 228th and 31st, uh, there wasn't sufficient land left to really make it a usable facility on that site. So it had to be moved if we were gonna save it. And then in November of 2008, the building was picked up off its site, moved about a mile and a half here, uh, it's oriented 180 degrees from the way it was at the other site, but still has that uh, north-south axis with the sun coming in from the windows. Uh, we were able to restore the outside of the building, and uh, now we're working on getting funding to complete the renovation of the inside. It's really important to remember about the school as it was moved over to this location is we have no original photographs of the interiors. We have a few of the exterior. Now that said, it's remarkable that this building has such an intact interior as a historical significance because we've got the original beadboard, we've got original chalk trays, okay, the slates are gone, but we know where the, uh, the chimney location was for the, the stove. We've got the raised dais so the teachers could stand up a little higher than the class. We've got the original cloakroom. So one of them was changed and modified to be like a little service area when it was used as a community center, but they're still there. This is really an important feature of this building and why it's so ex historically significant to the community, as well as it gives us a, an arch type of, for historical significance of the types of things that went into a building like this for our schools. We have the high windows, the high bay windows, that allowed natural light throughout the year so the kids did not have to have lights on because the electricity was added later. And as you all know in the Northwest, it's a little gloomy in the winter. You want as much light as you can get. 
Then for years, we didn't have a lot of windows in schools. Now we're back to it as part of the green movement and our designs incorporate these things into our schools. This building is just a beautiful example of our early education buildings and we're really fortunate to have it in the community. A lot of what's here just needs to be cleaned up. We need to go back and remove some of the scaffolding and things that are in here that were not part of the original uh, school. What we need to establish though is that it's going to cost us about $60,000 to do this and we are taking donations. We've, uh, we have about $13,000 in the account toward that 60. Now to do that, we're looking for donations where uh, proceeds uh, at this point from the then and now book are going toward the school as well as the sale of the medallions that feature the school on them, the pewter medallions that the board and the city are selling at this time. We're also looking at grants and we're looking at in-kind donations of materials and labor from people who can contribute and have some background in historical renovation. And we see this as a real resource for the community. We want people to be able to come and enjoy the schoolhouse, learn about its history. We, we plan to have interpretive panels and things like that describing its history, but also we want it to be functional. The schoolhouse we have down at the Park at Bothell Landing is restored as a schoolhouse. It's a great museum, but it's not very useful for other purposes. We're not going to do that here. The plan is to make this available as a community center uh, for various kinds of meetings uh, and uh, activities that the community wants to engage in. North Creek Schoolhouse is located at Centennial Park just off the Bothell Everett Highway at 208th Street Southeast. To learn more and to donate to the project, you can visit www.ci.bothell.wa.us or call 425-486-8152.